Hallelujah! Happy Good Friday to all our esteemed viewers and Celestians worldwide. Good day and welcome to News Round and Celestial Owners TV. Good to have you join us at this time. I am Damilola Awushika. First, the headlines. Christians all over the world prepare for Easter celebrations. His Eminence Reverend Emmanuel Fido Mobino Shofa calls for prayers for our nation Nigeria. Celestial Church of Christ postponed anointment and retreat kicks off. And CCC Jerusalem Parish London holds Paul and Silas March edition. And now the news in full. Christians all over the world and the spirit of Eastern Celestial Church of Christ are not left out. The Holy Week is strictly observed after Palm Sunday, which marked the triumphant entry of Jesus Christ into Jerusalem. During the Holy Week is a special fit washing and communion, which has been done for the clergy earlier in the CCC, administered by the spiritual head of the Celestial Church of Christ, His Eminence Reverend EMF or Shoffer. The administration of the fit washing and communion was done yesterday, Thursday, 28th of March, 2024, in our individual parishes. It is worthy to note that members that are unbaptized are exempted from taking the communion. Here, Celestial Owners TV speak with prominent clergymen on the significance of fit washing in the Celestial Church. It's a symbolical expression of spiritual cleansing. Jesus said, if you are not washed, you are not fit to be in the kingdom. So which means if you submit yourself to the washing, it means one, within yourself, you have the purity of heart. That, okay, you have made up your mind for Jesus Christ and you are submitting yourself in humility for cleansing, spiritual cleansing of your life to be eligible for redemption and salvation. So it's very important. Washing of feet and the Holy Sacrament. You ask me, where is it? Oh, there, Okok Pataki. You know, it's a lot of people who are going to be a lot of people e se wa se dede wa lati we nu o pelu awon sacrament ti jo mi mo ni ta gba lo papa wa bi joso ani to me na ni wi pe lati we ai mo ai se dede e gbe gbo lati gbo e da jesus of awon me hin e pe bi bi emi ko ba we sere o ni ipin lodon Every week we need better people. I want do. Don't buy lots of do. Don't buy lots of jar. Don't buy lots of go. Don't buy the. What we say? What we want? Then we are just supposed to carry, carry, turn, show, carry. Are you bato? Let him move. Can you know? I want to do do your share. You can you know? I want to do do. The abode of Moshe. We know she. I want me here. Me a little journal. Ti a ofi ha. To de we se won. O sa won pe teru pe bi emi ko ba we o. We se re. O ni ipin lodo. Why it's a biblical activity. It's in the Bible itself. Uh where our Lord Jesus Christ himself washed the feet of his uh, uh disciples. So we're only acting in line with the um, the scriptures by doing what we're doing here today. You also know that this is the Easter period after which we'll begin the the fasting um, period in the church. It's a period of holiness. It's a period of rededication. It's a period of um, looking inwards, you know, in terms of our relationship with God and our worship. Yeah. This place is for clergy, okay. and clergy are the sample for the members. When we wash feet of the clergy, then they will go for the members. According to the book of John chapter 13 from verse 5 to 7, it proved that uh, we have to wash our feet so that we have a place in the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Yeah. So the how about communion? Uh, concern the Holy Communion, you know that when we are taking the Holy Communion, 
is to remind us that we have to move away from committing sins is a sign of repentance so that we'll be ready for the second coming of Christ. And that's all. Nous sommes ici présentement pour laver nos pieds, particulièrement étant dit dans le livre de Jean, chapitre 13, à partir du verset 5 e jusqu'à 7 e verset, nous dit que nous devons laver nos pieds sans quoi on n'aura pas les places dans les cieux. Alors, nous sommes obligés de laver nos pieds. Puisque laver les pieds, après lavage des pieds, nous prenons le communion. Après la communion, c'est en ce temps-là que nous serons prêts pour à le revient de Jésus-Christ. C'est-à-dire que Jésus-Christ reviendra pour la seconde fois. Avec sa seconde fois-là, il viendra pour la jugement. Et le jugement-là, c'est pour nous juger. Et si tu prends euh, la communion, tu seras aussi prêt. Et tu seras aussi purifié des péchés. Merci. Some of those things that we make you see that truly celestial is divine is one of those things we are doing now. Washing of feet. Of feet. If you look at uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, a verse stated that do this in remembrance of me. That's what Jesus said. Then when you look at uh, John 13, from one to a certain point, you see a place that where Jesus washed. And that's exactly what was said that we should be doing in remembrance of him. And you know, he did say something. Jesus said something. When Peter said, no, master, you cannot wash my feet. And Jesus said, if I don't wash your feet now, you have no inheritance with me in heaven. And Peter said, it's no feet alone you are going to wash. You will wash my hand. You will wash my head. And Jesus said, don't worry. Whoever that is clean through the washing of the feet is already clean through the whole body. So, do this in remembrance of me. That means, as Christians, we should continue doing it. And exactly that's what we are doing. It's divine. The essence of this um, ceremony we are doing today, if you look at the Bible, is there. Jesus washed the feet of his, people, of, of his, of his uh, disciples. That is to show that if you are a leader, you have to be a servant before you can be a leader. And he has done that. And uh, we can see, you know, the significance of it. It's very, very important. It has to be done. Uh, it's biblical. And in Celestia, we have to do it. That's what we are doing now. And I'm so happy the place is packed full of people, packed full of worshippers that recognize our pastor and are obeying the instruction of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. As we all know, before Jesus left this world, immediately before the Easter, in year 2000 or something, we wouldn't know exactly the year, Jesus called his disciples in John 13, and he wanted to watch their feet to prepare them for heaven. To prepare them for heaven. At the time, Peter said, I will not do it. So he said, no, if you don't do it, you, know, you won't have a share with me in heaven. And Peter said, it's not only my feet, but all my body. Therefore, it is a yearly program laid down by St. SBG or Shopper. For 38 years, he did this. And when he left, Baba Bada took over. After Baba Bada, Pastor P. H. John Fett took over. Then his eminence, Reverend Yemen for Shopper, since 21 years now. Is doing the same thing where we all gather here to remember that moment when Christ was about to leave this world. He wanted to leave them, but he didn't want to leave them fatherless. That's why he told them he wanted to watch their feet so that wherever he will be, they too may go there. It's nothing but to prepare us that one day we are to leave this world the same way Christ did, the same way St. S. did, the same way Pastor Bada did, the same way Pastor P. H. did. One day we will leave this world as well. But when we leave, any Christian, as we are the celestial member, who misses this opportunity may not know whether he will see next year. Therefore, we should do it. It is a yearly program, and every member, every true member of Celestial Church of Christ must pass through this every year to remember that one day we leave this world and we are expecting to see Christ in heaven. 
The feet washing exercise for the UK clergy was officiated by HOD CCC UK Diocese, Most Super Evangelist Amos Fatosi, who had earlier fulfilled the statutory obligation of feet washing in kilometer 53 here in Nigeria. Today being Good Friday, we all converged at Marco Kodo, the CCC National Headquarters, for a special service at the Mercy Land to mark the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. When uh, Christians die these days, we don't say they die. We say they sleep in the Lord. Because we believe that death has no power over us as Christians. Because Christ has died and has gone down to the grave to conquer for us. Because Jesus himself died and he has conquered the grave itself. That is what is done for us. So that death will not have power over us. That is the significance of him going there. Uh, yes, hallelujah. What is the significance of his crucifixion before that death? Hallelujah. Yes. By his stripes, we are healed. It is for us to be healed so that we will not suffer again. He has suffered for us. Yes, he needed to be crucified. That is the real thing. You remember that he says he's innocent. He's innocent. Eh? Yes. That is the great thing. So we cannot pl uh, uh, plead any innocency before Christ. Because Christ is innocent and yet he was crucified. So even now, in any situation, as a Christian and even as, a, as, as an anointed, if you think you are being crucified, know that Christ was crucified before you, innocently. That is the significant now. To show us, th there's a scripture that says that he was tempted so that he would be able to test, to, to help those that are tempted. Yes, he was tempted. So he was crucified so that we will have our faith in him. That whatever is it that we are going through now, whatever crucifixion we think that people are doing for us, either they, they gang against us and they tell, they tell lies on us, we know that it has been so for our Savior. So we have our faith and we have our relief in it that we will come over every crucifixion, any form of crucifixion at all. On the hills far away stood the old rugged cross, an emblem of suffering and shame. The crucifixion of our Lord Jesus Christ is for our salvation. We pray this great sacrifice is not in vain in our lives. Hallelujah! Do you want to create a massive awareness for your programs and events? Then you're welcome on board Celestial Honors TV Interdenominational, where all our adverts are free. At Celestial Honors TV, our motto is reaching the media world for Christ. Don't forget, all our adverts are free and you can reach us at chtv at celestialhonors.org or call our hotline 0906-600-0028 or WhatsApp line plus 44-7440-077-553. You will be glad you did because at Celestial Honors TV, we keep our words. Taking cognizance of the economic instability and hardship in Nigeria, His Eminence Reverend Emmanuel Fide Mobin or Shofa has issued a pastoral order that all Celestians are to convert at the celestial city in Mekogon State for a revival tagged Prayer for Peace to seek the face of God for our dear country Nigeria. Coordinated by the World Evangelism Committee, led by Venerable Super Evangelist Adilaja. It will hold on Wednesday, the 17th of April, at CCC headquarters in Meko Ogun State by 4 p.m. In the same vein, a general meeting of the members of the State Evangelism Committee will hold on Friday, the 5th of April, at the St. SBG Ashofa Cathedral International Headquarters, K2 Lagos, by 10 a.m. prompt. All State Evangelism Chairmen, Secretaries, and their Treasurers, Divisional Chairmen, Secretaries, and their Treasurers, as well as Province Chairmen, Secretaries and their treasurers should please take note. The earlier postponed anointment exercise of the CCC Worldwide will resume on Monday, the 15th of April, the so Thursday, 16th of May, at the Holy Land Celestial City in Mekogon State. Also, the 2024 International Workers and Ministers Retreat will kick off on the 16th and round off 
on the 18th of April at the International Conference Center in Meko, Ogun State. The Peace Crusade 2024 of the Lagos State Evangelism Council Secretariat is set to hold on the 19th of April 2024 at the Agege Stadium. Themed Fear of God, the program will begin by 9 p.m. You will experience God like never before as the spiritual head of CCC Worldwide. His Eminence Reverend Emmanuel Movino Friday or Shuffer will be there alongside the likes of Cardinal James Odumbaku, Venable Supreme Evangelist D.O.O. Gurumbi, and Reverend Mother Esther Ajayi, and a host of others. Doors of heavenly blessings will be opened upon you as you participate. CCC Northwest England Evangelism Ministry presents Enthroned, scheduled for Saturday, April 6, 2024, at the CCC Citadel of Celestines, Southford, Manchester, from 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. The New Jerusalem Parish London of the Celestial Church of Christ holds the March 2024 edition of Paul and Silas on Friday, the 29th of March by 3 p.m. Themed Shekinah, the venue is Church Auditorium, Shalom House, London. The special revival is guaranteed to be divine and life-changing experience. On Sunday, the 31st of March, White City Parish holds Resurrection Sunday Revival. I am set free at the church sanctuary by 10 a.m. Lully Model Parish holds its third annual Youth Thanksgiving Tagged Season of Illumination on the 10th of May by 10 p.m. prompt and a Thanksgiving service roundup on the 12th. Do make it a date as the Lord awaits you. There are some things that we cannot do with our own power or capacity, but with Jesus, the Prince of Peace. When we fear Him, there will be peace. My name is Very Reverend Bukola Adeliki. I am Special Advisor to the Governor on Christian Matter. I also want to invite our fathers and mothers for this peace crusade. And this year crusade of 2024 has been tagged Fear of God. Please let us come together and pray for our nation. And all Lagosians, let us come. The block leaders should kindly encourage their followers, their members to attend this peace crusade because we need peace in our nation. We need peace in Lagos State. I get this stadium on the 19th of April and I pray that the Prince of Peace will grant all your heart desires. Iba fala run e te ka ju mo fola fun. Iba fala run e te ka ju mo fola fun. Eni tola ye so un la n fola fun. You are invited to Washington City Parish Celestial Champion Concert. You are invited to Wild City Parish Celestial Champion Concert. You are invited to Wild City Parish Celestial Champions Concert. How very great is you all? I'm the CM of YC the Paris Choir. Greetings, everybody. My name is Walida Tosin Onofye. I am the ACM of White City Parish. I'm specially inviting you to our special event, Celestial Champions Concert. It's a day where we celebrate Celestial Church of Christ and the music that comes as an expression of our church. On the 4th of April, which is a bank holiday, come one, come all, and you have a blast. It's a full day with special guest artists. You do not want to miss this particularly do not want to miss the power of god through music bring everybody that you want when you come you'll be blessed remain blessed everyone peace out so Stephen, why should people attend this concert um i don't really know um that's a lie good <laughs> music indeed ministration yes evangelism yes and on top of it all god's blessing yes and good food loud, <laughs> why city parish celestial champions concert why city parish celestial champions concert why city parish celestial champions concert celestial champions concert oh my loud god 
For your perfect flyers, graphics, posters, video editing, and jingles, contact us at Tora Graphics. You can reach us on 0903-404-3094. Hire us today and you will be glad you did. And now on the foreign news, the Francis Scott Key Bridge in the city of Baltimore collapsed into the Patasco River after being rammed by a cargo ship earlier in the week. The U.S. Coast Guard says six people who were on the bridge are presumed dead as certain rescue efforts are being called off. Maryland Governor says the bridge will be rebuilt in memorial of the dead, while the President of the United States, Joe Biden, has also said his government will foot the bill and get the port running in no time. And now in the world of sports, Super Eagles forward, Simon Moses will be out of action for the rest of the season after picking up an injury while on international duty. French League side Nantes confirmed that the 28-year-old suffered a fractured fibula and will not be able to participate in any game for the next three months. During an international friendly game against Mali early in the week, Moses collided with the opposition's goalkeeper in the 33rd minute of the encounter and had to be taken off the pitch, consequently resulting in Cyril Besser replacing him. We wish him a quick recovery. We're going to a quick break now. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Celestial Honors and Merit Awards International presents the African Awards Lagos 2024. Honoring men and women of high integrity, honor and substance, those who have made enormous contributions in kingdom advancement endeavors, who have tremendously contributed to the growth and development of the society through humanitarian gestures, to mention a few. African Awards Lagos 2024. It's going to be explosive, inspiring and entertaining. Anticipate. African Awards Lagos 2024. Powered by Celestial Honors and Merit Awards International. Celestial Honors TV is the home of news and facts in and around Celestial Church of Christ. It is an avenue to keep you up to date with recent, hottest, and the choicest information and happenings. On News Round, you find out what is going on with stories, pictures, and videos coupled with international and sports news. This weekly program airs every Friday and is powered by Celestial Honors and Merits Awards International. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Celestial Honors TV so you do not miss the notification for your free adverts and events coverages call us on 0906 600 0028 whatsapp plus 44 74 4007 7553 or email us at info at celestial honors.org at celestial honors tv we are reaching the media world for christ News Round on Celestial Honors TV, powered, powered by Celestial, Celestial Honors and Merit Awards International. Welcome back. Before we go, a quick recap of the main headlines. Christians all over the world prepare for Easter celebrations. His Eminence Reverend Emmanuel Friday Mobino Shofa calls for prayers for our nation, Nigeria. Celestial Church of Christ postponed anointment and retreat kicks off. And CCC Jerusalem Parish London holds Paul and Silas March edition. And that's it on the news. Thanks for joining us. Here's wishing you all from Celestial Honors TV and crew a happy Easter celebrations. Good night and God bless you.